Okay, so at this point you've done the SPSS tutorial for the data entry. You were given a instructor code, you complete the activity, you provided your completion code. Now we're going to do it with SPSS, we're going to do it with the actual program. And so here's the data set that you'll be working with, and each student will have a different data set. So let's go ahead and open up the SPSS program. And we're using VMware, which means virtual machine as a way to access it. It's recommended that you install the VMware directly on your computer, but we'll be using the browser option for this example. So I'm going to view.miracosta.edu, and here's where you'll type in your surf ID and password. You'll be asked if you wish to open the VMware Horizon client, and we'll go with the standard student desktop. At this point, you'll have to log in once more with your SURF ID. And we'll go ahead and open up the IBM statistics software. And now we're ready to go. SPS is open and we're in data view. We'll go ahead and create the following three variables. Favorite color, which is nominal. Dog lover, which is ordinal. And total pets, which will be scale. I've typed in here a color and there's no spaces because for the variable name there can be no spaces in it. I'll press tab or press the next key and you'll see that SPSS starts to fill in the rest of the information for that particular variable. In the label field I can type in favorite color and this time include the space and this is what will appear on the reports. Finally I'll scroll over to the right and I'll indicate that its measure is nominal. Okay, let's do this again for our next variable. Okay, we're going to type in dog lover. No spaces for label. Include the space or dog lover scale. Can make it a little bit larger. And for measure, this is going to be ordinal. Categories that can be right. And then scroll back, type in our last variable there. And for here, I'll type in total pets, again, no spaces. For label, I can see something a little bit more expanded, like total household pets. And this one is going to be scale. These are numbers that you can add, subtract, multiply, divide, and calculate the average of. All right. Now we're going to define our favorite color variable to have the following labels, green, purple, pink, and blue, numbered from one to four. I'm gonna click on the values column for our variable favorite color, and then click the dot, 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 and we'll define those values. So one is green. I can press just enter or click add either way. Two is gonna be purple. Three will be pink. Oh, pink. And four will be blue. All right, and then I'll click OK. Looking at the values, you can see that, yeah, something was entered there. We'll go ahead and take a look back at the quiz. So for the dog lover scale, we're going to have one star, two star, three stars, and four stars. So again, in the values column, for the variable dog lover, we'll click where it says none currently, and then click the dot, dot, dot. And here we go. One is one star. Two, two stars. Three, three stars. And four, four stars. All right, that's it. Okay, our next step is to indicate that the decimals for all three variables uh, go to the zeroth place. That is, not to the tenths or the hundredths, but that they're all whole numbers. So again, I'm making sure I'm in variable view. I'm in the column decimals. And I'm just going to click there, delete the two, put in a zero, press enter, and repeat that for all three variables. All of them will be whole numbers. 
All right, for our next step, we're going to put in our data. And it says refer to question two. So here's question two. So we have favorite color, dog lover scale, and household total pets for three people. And I'm just going to, I'm going to try this. I'm going to highlight the data for my uh, three respondents. I'm going to copy it. And here I am back in SPSS. I'm going to go to data view. That's where all the data is. I'm going to click on this first cell. I'm going to right click and choose paste. Ooh, look at that. So the view is currently with value labels on. If I turn value labels off, those are the numbers that came from the SPSS program or to put into the SPSS program. And now let's take a look again with the value labels on. There we go. So much easier to read. All right. And we are done. We've left it with uh, switching the value labels on so we can see the actual labels. It says after completing the variable definitions and data entry, take a screenshot and data view. How you do this will depend upon the particular device that you're using, and you may need to do a Google search just to see how to do that. Once you've taken your screenshot and you have saved it to your device, you'll go ahead and insert it here into your Canvas uh, quiz answer. So you'll click on Insert, choose Image, Upload Image, and we'll go ahead and load Image again. And from here, we'll pick our screenshot, you can double click on it, and it's there. With your screenshot now inserted as your answer here to question three, go ahead and respond to these different prompts in question four and then click Submit Quiz to indicate that you are done.